natural product. Oh, I just cut my hair. Hey guys, it's L2. What did you do? Because I'm back with another video. And today's L2 review is where I have some money so you guys don't have to. So, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a hair mask because as you can see, my hair is nasty. Yikes. I've had my hair like this for probably three days now. Yeah, this is the third day and I've been pulling it out. I don't know why I do that, but yeah, I've been pulling it out so it's looking pretty crusty. I'm probably late on the trend, but I just found out that aloe is actually a really good hair mask. And I looked up YouTube videos and I was like, Wait, everyone's been doing this and I've never done this. I've literally never bought aloe and put it in my hair. So today we're gonna do it. So I picked. Why does it look so long? It looks like the Grinch's finger. <laughs> anyway, so I picked this up. I'll insert a video. It literally, I think, was like a dollar, hitting two dollars after tax, if anything. So definitely go check it out. It's so much easier and cheaper than buying like. Literally before, I would just buy the packs of like hair conditioners or hair masks from the hair store. And there's really no point because there's so many natural solutions. I sound like a hair guru. But I'm not. I'm not. So I wanted to try this because I'm realizing that everything that's a natural product... Oh, I just cut my hair. As I was saying, I'm realizing that natural products are way better than your hair than buying processed products. So it's just better to make it for yourself. What I'm trying to say. So I watched multiple videos about this, and they literally cut up the cut up the aloe and then run it through their hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. First, I need to take my hair out of this hair tie. Um, I don't know how it's gonna look once I take it out. Hopefully, I don't rip up my hair. Also, but let's try and do that now. My hair was so tight on the sides. I literally was killing to take my hair out of that hair tie, but I wanted to make this video for you guys. I watched a girl do this and she literally cut it like this and I was like, whoa, you look like a pro, so I'm gonna try. Oh, it's actually not that tough. Okay, it's actually slicing. I'm making a TikTok. <laughs> I'm making a TikTok at the same time, so I'm gonna be in and out, but follow me on TikTok at l 2 do. Okay, so I just cut the first piece off camp for my TikTok. Oh, look how gooey it is. Okay, so that's the first one. Oh, it actually was as easy as it was looking on the cam. No, this actually feels so cool. I feel like I'm really doing something right now. Look at that. So the next thing I have to do is cut the sides that are pokey. No. No, no, no. Why did I call it pokey? The sides that are spiky. Yeah, it's spiky. Um, I feel like I need a bag. One second. I put a bag below me so I can just drop and not mess up. Don't think I'm unruly, but literally just cutting, oh, cutting the ends off. Oh, of course I missed the bag on the first go. I like a good view of this. So that's the center, and then what everyone usually does is just cut it down the middle, like so. Ooh, wait a second. It's so gooey. Oh my gosh, that's sick. Okay, I'm gonna go put this piece to the side. So now I'm just gonna repeat that for my four pieces that I have. So I'm gonna put it through my hair now. What it says to do is puncture 
the aloe like this with your fingers. Okay. Like this and just make holes through it so that the goo can come in. And then run it through your hair. Okay. Merci. Okay, so I had my sister film a TikTok for me. That's what I was just doing there, and she doesn't know how to use TikTok, so that was a little messy. But I'm just rubbing it through my hair now. Oh, there's still goo on top. Let me try and puncture it more. I have a lot of pieces. This is literally just the first piece, and I feel like it's going far. Like my whole top scalp, I feel is drenched. Okay, that's good for now. For that piece, then I'm just gonna. This feels so weird, but it feels slick. Like the aloe itself is very slick, which I like because my hair is uh, very much dry. So, oh, that looks so cool. Look. I'm gonna put that all through my hair. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I like that feeling, the gooiness, but. I feel like I'm doing something. This is exciting. Oh, I got all up on my arm. Maybe, oh, you know what? I think, I think two pieces is too much for me. I'm just gonna puncture it again. Yeah, I hear that. Slime, oh yeah, that's definitely made a difference. Okay, I'm gonna use one piece at a time. One half at a time and then use my hand to guide it. It's way easier. Cause two, I was just like, I felt like I was juggling. Like, <laughs> there was just too much going on. Wow, matching fit. Oh, I just scraped it. Yeah, the key is definitely to puncture with your fingers to make more come out. I saw a lot of other videos where they were, um, what's it called? Oh yeah, they would blend it, but I actually don't think that's, you don't need to do that for real. It's so easy just to rub it through your hair. So happy I'm following this one. So far, I feel like my hair is getting moist already. Um, they said to go through your edges, especially with like all the edge control and everything. And because you're supposed to do this when your hair is dirty. And then wash it out after. So now I'm just gonna run the other pieces through my hair. I'm starting to see why people blend it. <laughs> Congratulations, you played yourself. I feel like I'm kind of wasting the aloe. Like, even though it did get all through my hair, and I'm actually pretty surprised my hair is even looking like this. Like, it's looking shiny, moisturized. But yeah, I see why people put the aloe through their blender and stuff because I do feel like I'm wasting it. Like, when you lift the aloe from the skin, more and more of the juices come out. But it's hard to put that through your your hair because pieces literally come flying off like how they just did and yeah it's like kind of getting messy so I'm just gonna leave it at that I wanted to put some type of oil in my hair so I recently got put on to jojoba joba jojoba oil jojoba oil jojoba oil anyways you guys know this oil I don't know how to say it but yeah, it says it's for hair and body, adds moisture, shine, and strengthens your hair. So I put this through my hair now. Um, mostly what I do, I like when oils have like the little spout top so that you don't have to just rely on your fingers to run it through. But yeah, I literally just squirt it into my hair because I need it in my scalp. Because I have such dry scalp. And then I'm just going to run it in my hands and then through my hair. Okay, so this is what we're working with right now. I'm just gonna go, let me put it up. I'm not gonna put my hair under a heating cap right now. Um, yeah, I'm just not gonna do that. But I'm gonna go get ready to take a shower. Hopefully that's like enough time to just let it sit. I think it is. I think that would be enough time. But yeah, 
as you can see, like even my curls back here, I'm going to the front. They're bouncing. It's cute. I like it. Oh, look at the little ringlets at the back. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna go take a shower and then show you guys the end results. I'm back. So I just got out of the shower. As you guys can see, my hair is still looking moisturized. So I'm going to take it out of my hair. What's it called? My clip. This is the end result. Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, I feel like my hair is shinier. I will say that when I got into the shower, I literally felt like my hair was expanding. Like you could feel the water soaking into the aloe and my hair was just like getting thicker. So that was cool. But overall, I think I'm going to incorporate this into my weekly routine because I really do feel like my hair needs to get moisturized way more than it is. I'm technically not even doing right now. Like I just do my hair routine which is really just not a routine, like it's just cleaning my hair and then styling it. So I'm happy I tried this. I'm definitely gonna buy it more aloe because it literally was only a dollar. Yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend. I definitely think it's gonna help my hair in the long run. This was just the first time of me doing it, so maybe I'll give an update and maybe develop an actual hair routine and I'll do another video. But I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm looking for more treatment to do on my hair. My hair is literally dead. Um, it's dry, it's always tangled, it shrinks. Like any recommendations that you guys have for me, let me know and I'll try them out and hopefully make a video on it. But you guys know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.